Today we're going to talk about comparing fractions. Okay? Comparing fractions. So in order to compare fractions, that means we have to look at two different fractions. And what are the three labels that we're going to use for comparing fractions or comparing anything? Like if I was comparing 2 and 5, who can tell me a math sentence that would we could use to compare 2 and 5? Not multiple, okay. Let, let me help you out. Let's play a quick game of hangman. Guess the letter. D, no. Poor math man. No D is in our word. E? No K. No M. Thank you. G? Is there any G up there? No, that's a Q. Oh, that's a Q. That's a Q. Felicia. Z? Z? Oh, I got one. One more letter and we're out of luck. No, no, no. Yes. Oh. A. It's already up there. Oh. 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 Oh.
not going to touch Mr. Lecture's because that's gross. But we're each going to take our piece of gum and we're going to split it into three equal parts because that's what this is saying, right? Three parts. So, I've got my three parts. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Lecture has his three parts. Agree? Yeah. Okay, so, according to our class, I'm going to take one of them and eat it. Mr. Lecture is going to take two parts. Who got more gum? Mr. Lecture. Mr. Lecture. So you mean to tell me that if we have a common denominator, the numerator is the powerful one. The numerator is going to tell us who is larger. Think of a pie. Think of a cookie. Visualize this one, a peace sign. One third is only that much. Two thirds is that much. So which one's bigger? Two thirds. So let's read our number sentence together. One third is less than two thirds. And guys, too, when these bottom numbers are the same, Really, all we're focusing on are these top parts. These top parts. And this is simple math, guys. What's bigger, one or two? Two. Right? Two. You guys know that. You guys are just getting confused by these fractions. So, and they are the same bottom. Just cross that out then. Okay? Just cover it up and say, okay, what's bigger, one or two? Because what if, what if those work here? Let's read it together. Mm -hmm. One is less than two. two. I could go grab Malin right now from Mrs. Clish, Mrs. Lish's class, and I bet yeah. she would say that one is less than two, right? Yeah. yeah. So really we're talking about a really basic concept that tries to trick you because of these denominators. We look at the numerator. The bigger numerator is the winner. It's the greater number. I'm going to put another one up there, and let's see if you can come up with a math sentence to describe it. Yep, that one, is a math sentence. Yeah, really. one third is less than two thirds. That's how we read that. And you always you read it like a book, too, guys. Do you start with the right side, the like the bottom of the page, and read up? No, you always start from the top left corner and you move a left to right. Then you go down. Okay, that's exactly how you read this. Common denominator, look at the numerator. Common denominator, so really that's not even our focus anymore. If we have a common denominator, that's not our focus. Why the numerators are our focus? Chase. Okay, let's put good. Let's put it into a, the full sentence. Three fourths is greater than one fourth. Exactly. We'll do one more. We're going to move on to a different situation. Two choices that can go into that bubble is greater than and your other choice is, is less. So think, think, which, which which group of words is going to complete our math sentence correctly? Think, turn, oh, Julie.
Julius is back. So, Kendall, do you mind just scooting one desk over just so you can talk to Julius? Thank you. So, think, turn to your partner, and talk quietly. Yep. Did you talk to Adrian? Okay. Did you talk to Kira? Nope. So, so you thought, so now you're going to turn and you're going to talk. Two of you get to turn and talk. Would you guys say you're out and talk? Awesome. Turn and talk. Turn and talk. What did you girls figure out? Okay. Adrian, what did you figure out? What, seven tenths is greater than? Okay, but we remember we read it from left to right. Right? So you're going to, you, when whoever I call on is going to say, seven tenths is than eight tenths. That is either going to be less or greater. So who can be my earth? Caitlin. Bingo. Super duper. Nice job. Who else, who else agrees with that? I kind of gave it away when I gave her a high five. But So, 7 tenths is less than 8 tenths. Makes sense to me. All right. Here we go. Keep that in your memory bank because what we're going to talk about next is going to maybe confuse that a little bit. So we looked at fractions that have a like denominator. That means we're talking about the same number of parts in the whole. In this problem, it was 10. We had 10 parts in the whole. So it would make sense that the one that has more of those parts is bigger. We're going to talk about fractions that have like numerators now. What's the numerator, Mr. Adamson? If the denominator was the bottom number in our fraction, the numerator must be the, look at my hand, if my denominator is the bottom number, my numerator must be the, good hands raised. What do you think, Jessica? The denominator is on the bottom of our fraction. The numerator must be the top of Bingo, our fraction. Jessica. Nice job. Here it is. Now, just like how we talked about if we had a common denominator, we just looked at the numerator. Since we have a common numerator, we're going to look only at the denominator. Now, listen up. This is where it gets trickier, guys. Who would like to come up and draw two-thirds underneath our fraction two-thirds? So draw a fraction bar, draw a, a circle. Either or. Either one of you. One of you can do two-thirds, the other yeah. one can do two-fourths. Both of you come up. Yeah, one's going to do two-fourths and one's going to do two-thirds. Try to make your holes about the same size. Yeah. Melody, you can grab a different marker if you want. You just kind of have to take his lead. So however, however big he draws the hole, I want you to make your hole about okay, that so same I'm size and shape. Draw, draw, draw a circle or a, or a rectangle for a candy bar. Okay, perfect. So now, Melody, you draw the same type of one. <coughs> Perfect. Anhil, draw your two-thirds. Melody, draw your two-fourths. So Anhil, you're going to have like the peace sign going on. Yeah, do you remember how Mr. Adamson did that? Nope, oh, that was your fourths, that's right. I kind of go down right there, okay. There you go. There you go. All right, fill in your two-thirds. Melody, fill in your two fourths. Wait, 
You're good. Good. All right. Awesome. Mr. Luncher, what, what just happened? I don't know, kids. My mind's blown because the tops, we were able to do whatever the bigger one. That's okay. I was, I was, I'm kind of blown away. So, Mr. Luncher, what... Which fraction looks like it's, which picture actually looks like it's talking about a bigger value? It, it looks like the one with the smaller number on the bottom like now. The two-thirds, right? That's kind of what I'm gathering from these pictures, which are accurate. These are, Melody and Angel did a perfect drawings here. It looks like the smaller number. <gasps> so we would say, we would read this. Two-thirds is greater than two-fourths. Let's let that sink in. Let's let that sink in for just a moment. If we're imagining two-thirds, that, that means you have three parts total and you have two of them filled. If you're imagining two-fourths, you have four parts total and you have two of them filled. Now... Mr. Lynch, I have a question. Yeah, what's that, Mr. Adams? So, it, on our homework tonight? Yeah. If we have a problem like this, do you think I should take the time to draw the picture? I, to be honest with you, it, uh, I, I didn't really know the problem until they drew this out. See, I can clearly see Melody colored in half of this, so I think it's a perfect idea because... You know, or take a piece of can, uh, like uh, what if you have uh, orange at home or something, or if you want to cut some food up or something like that. Yeah. I think it's a perfect, uh, perfect thing to do. Okay. So, or we can also apply some math rules. Remember, our math rule for like denominator was mm -hmm. when you have fractions with like denominators, the fraction with the larger numerator is larger. We have to kind of reverse that thinking a little bit. If we have like numerators, the fraction with the smaller denominator is actually larger. Does anyone have a math notebook here? Yeah, I do. Why don't you go ahead and write down Mr. Lencher's notes, please? Can you do me a favor and I want to help you? Can you sit next to someone tomorrow that isn't Kendra? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. I think it'll help your learning. Okay. Yep, whatever. We should, hopefully, we don't have a whole lot written in our notebooks right now. We might have, we might have our charts, our charts, but. Does this make sense to everybody? Like denominators. We all should know what the denominators and numerators are, okay? If you don't know, put numerator over denominator. Put this in your notebook if you need to. It's probably a good note to have as well. Okay? Just to remind you. Get your notebook, please, Sam. Let's go. Once you've taken those notes, I want you to turn to page 9 in your math workbook. What one? Uh, -E -E -R. E -R. sorry. Oh, that's my You have these notes written in. Go ahead and turn to page 9 in your math workbook. And I'd like you to do those six problems, please. There are six problems on the bottom of page 9 that I'd like you to try to do. Yep, you're supposed to write all of this. This. Write the bubble.
about the fraction thing that I had with the numerator over the denominator. open because I, uh, I, me and Mr. Adamson want to check to see how if you're understanding it or if we need a little more help or good. Smaller than please, sir, just right, please check that right away. Starts today, Mr. Light. Bingo. 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 And with a bang. Bingo. Okay, so now we have a white Okay, I like how. Ooh, Paige is drawing a figure. I like it. Paige, I love it. Draw it if you need to. Mr. Lecture? Yeah. Is our little iPad still recording? Yes. So are you you just go in and chop out these down times? No, I no. Okay. No, no, that's fine. I'm just gonna do a better job of No, and it's fine. I was like no, no, here no. they can kind of sit through. Okay, perfect. Alright. So let's let's turn this problem in, this idea into something fun. Okay? So our our good friend Mr. Penguin's gonna visit us. And on problem five, uh, yeah, let's do, pro uh, let's do problem three. Well, we're comparing one third and one fifth, right? On problem three. So, Mr. Penguin loves what? What do penguins eat? Fish. Fish. So, the zookeeper is gonna has two fish. He's going to cut one of the fish into three pieces. He's going to cut the other fish, which is the same size, into five pieces. And he's going to give the penguin only one piece. Does Mr. Penguin here want the piece from the fish that was cut into three parts? Or the fish that was cut into five parts, do you think? So here's my fish. Mm -hmm. 
There's my two fish. I want you to do this. The first fish is going to be cut into three parts. The second fish is going to be cut into five parts. Right. Not the best drawing, but you get the point. So, if we have a fish cut into three parts, or a fish cut into five parts, what is our good friend Mr. Penguin going to get more from? The fish cut into Riley. Three parts. So, on problem, is it problem three? One third, I don't know if, what order it's written in, one third is greater than one fifth. The penguin just taught us that, didn't it? Hi, Mr. Penguin. All right. Fist to five. How are we feeling about working with comparing fractions with or with like numerators or like denominators? Totally got it, Mr. Adamson. Not a clue, Mr. Adamson. I need lots of help. Fist to five. Show it to me, please. How, you're, how are you feeling about comparing fractions with like denominators or like numerators? Give me a problem, Mr. Amson, I'll get it right. This would be a five. Mr. Amson, give me any problem, I'll get it right. This would be, Mr. Adamson, I'm not sure about what a numerator or a denominator is yet. Please show me how you're feeling. Okay? Yeah, you can go anywhere in between. Five is this, I'm 100%. This is, I don't get any of it. So this would be, I get most of it. I feel pretty good about it. This would be, eh, so so. This would be, I'm really kind of not getting it. This would be, I need some help. And this would be, I need lots of help. Okay? So, fist to five, show me quick. They're the same number? So they'd be unlike the total, unlike the denominator. So what one's the smaller Awesome. All right. This one. And it says that's By the way, fraction. just a heads up. Do you see that? Mr. Lynch and I are going to do our best to, to try to help you out here in math class. But if you're here or here, I'd really encourage you to come visit us yes. before or after school. Most most days, one of us will be available. Yeah. I will. Uh, I know both of us. We would gladly help any of you guys. If you guys come in at like seven thirty or something like that, we're here. We're here. Okay. Every day, for the most part, me and Mr. Adamson are always here by seven thirty, if not earlier. Otherwise, I bet Mr. Lencher will be able to find some great links mm -hmm. to other videos and and other sites that talk about this because this is a pretty common topic. Who's looked up the YouTube channel? Good, I like it. I will always have a link on there in like the description. I know you guys all know what the description is. I, I just talked about what we talked about. Always click on that. That's just an extra resource. I know me and Mr. Adams have trained to do our best to explain what's going on in the in the lesson, but maybe something else helps you. Maybe you know, and that's nothing to be ashamed about. Maybe something else, you know. I may not get everything Mr. Adamson says, but if I see something else, the light bulb might go on, okay? All right, so we're going to leave but that then, uh, situation for a little bit. It's under math. Mr. Abson is going to find his math book. Now, are these like or unlike the numbers? Which has a plain sticker on the front of it. Okay. What's like or unlike? Which Mr. Adamson always keeps up on his table up here, and there it is. Ah, I knew it. Okay. If we turn to page 10. Bigger numerator, which is on the top. Which numerator is bigger? It says, if two fractions have different denominators, you can compare them by first rewriting them as equivalent fractions with a common denominator. You can use different strategies to do this, depending on how the denominators are related. So, in the first case... One denominator is a factor of the other. So let's take a peek at that. We're comparing 3 fourths and 5 eighths. So 
I'm on page 10. And notice the title says unlike denominator. So we're focusing on the bottom numbers here. So really, in the first situation, they're saying, is there anything you can do to the 4 to make it an 8? Is there anything you can do to this 4 to make it an 8? And we're, we're talking multiplication here. We're not talking adding. Like, I don't want you to say, yeah, add 4. Because we can't, we can't say, oh, yeah, we'll add 4 here and we'll add 4 here. Because adding doesn't yes. give us equivalent yes. fractions, does it? Yes. Multiplying and dividing yes. give us equivalent <laughs> fractions. Because we do not want to change how much this 3 fourths is worth. We just want it to look different. We want the same amount but just to make it look a little bit different. So, is there anything we can do to the 4 to turn it into an 8? Everyone put your pencils down, please. And just give me your eyes, because I think it'll click. If you give me everything you've got right now, I think this will, you'll go, oh, I, I kind of get that. Can I do anything to this 4 to turn it into an 8? I'm thinking multiplication here. Tariana. I could do times two. So three fours. And remember, whatever you do to the bottom, must do to the top. So three times two is? Six, and 4 times 2 is 8. So really, we are now comparing 6 eighths and 5 eighths. We have like denominators, which means the like denominator, the bigger numerator is the bigger fraction. When we get like denominators, our world is so much better. 6 okay? is bigger than 5. 6 is bigger than 5. That's it. And now, not to not to kind of cut in here, Mr. Adams, oh. but I, uh, the way I like to do just a different way to think about this, too, if we have 4 and 8, we can all skip count by 8, can't we? And 4? Can we not? Let's let's skip count by 4. 4, 8, 12, 16. Okay, now let's do 8. Let's skip count by 8. Eight. Oh, stop! Stop! Do we have a do we have a common uh, a common number here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so how many times did we multiply? How many hops did we take to get to eight here? Two. 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 Oh, that's where the times two comes in for that fraction. Okay. How many hops did we have to take here? One. One. So if you really want, you can multiply by one, but it's going to say anything times one is going to be itself. Does that make sense? Yeah. This is just another way to think about it. What Mr. Lecture is explaining to you right now is, that, is case three. There is a number besides one that is a factor of both denominators. Is really what he's doing here. Okay? Mm -hmm. So. Let's do a practice problem. Okay? You can use your math board to practice. Mr. Lecture's strategy, where you are going to write down those skip counting numbers, or you can just see, is there anything I can do to one to make it look like the other? Why don't you go ahead and compare two fifths and five tenths? Can you do anything to the 5 to make it a 10? If you can, do it. And then work it out, please. Do anything 
Yes. 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 How many times do we multiply the five on two? Times two, right? What about the five times ten? How many times do we multiply? Times four. Some of you are still sitting on the sidelines of math class right now. I really want you to get in the game, please. Is there anything you can do to And we know where the bottom number is going to be 10. What one's bigger? They got like denominators. Thank you. 